I make cheap, easy vegan meals and help you transition into a plant-based lifestyle. Today, I'm gonna do some really quick, easy, last minute meals for Halloween. These are all gonna be TikTok recipes and this is going up on Halloween, so I'm gonna make sure it's stuff that you have in your kitchen and it's really, really easy to do. First thing I'm gonna do is something I've been wanting to do for a little while now. And this one is a tomato soup. So it's a roasted tomato soup. I'm gonna put the tomatoes in a pan. Also, I'm a crow. No, I'm not a crow. I'm a scarecrow. A scarecrow, can you tell? So I'm gonna take my tomatoes, onion, some garlic. I've seen people do this with leaves of some sort, like basil and stuff, but I don't have any garlic. I'm gonna drizzle it in oil. There, let's just like that. These tomatoes are slightly going bad, but I think they're trying to cook. Like, you know when they're not as plump? They're just kind of wrinkly. Like, I'll show you. It's all oily. Just a little wrinkly. I've been working at this haunted house, and my hair reeks of smoke still. The haunted house ended up on CTV, and I'm on CTV scaring <laughs> the house. I'll show that you. Thing with the eyes is just. Don't want to make contact. Oh, you're, uh, you guys. I have a feeling this is going to make me prep it for a long time. 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. Okay, well that's going to be the last thing we do then. Well, I'm going to put that aside for now. And the next thing I'm going to do is the potato. I don't think it really requires two ingredients. A sweet potato, which I peeled already, and olive oil. I'm using my cutting board to hold up my tripod. So we need a new cutting board. Basically, I'm just going to slice these into slices. I probably should have said this earlier, but we're making little jack-o'-lanterns. Basically, the whole idea is that you cut little jack-o'-lantern faces out of these. There were people who had stencils to do this, and I kind of wish I had those, but we don't. Um... Oh my god. This would be a lot easier with a stencil, but we're making cheap, easy, last minute. There's his little eyes. No! I broke him. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll try again. We got one. That's cute. Oven is preheated. I'm going to slide the stuff for my soup into the oven. Is this little guy's done? I'll do it. I'll show you guys what I did. They're cute. They're so cute. My pants are getting a little loose from all the running in the haunted house. <laughs> put some salt on it. Not sure how long to put these in for, but I think it's probably the same amount. So I'm gonna stick them in with the other stuff at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So before you make the same mistake that I did, only roast these for 30 minutes, flip them halfway through. <laughs> I went to Whole Foods before I did this, and I knew two things going into Whole Foods, that I was going to find ripe avocados, because they're the only place that seems to have ripe avocados, and that I was going to get things that I didn't need, which I did, and I'll show you. Did I need this? Vegetable pat pakoras? No. Did I want them? Yes. Did I get them? Also yes. Oh, and also unrelated, I got these little packets. Um, it's pesto, olive, and jalapeno, and you just put it on your sandwiches, and it's vegan and dairy-free, and they're so good. They're really good with tofu scramble sandwiches. Check it out. And so I guess now I'm gonna make the last one. It's supposed to be this pumpkin that looks like it's puking out guacamole. And then you can have like, oh, I forgot to get chips. You can have like chips around it. They were sold out of little pumpkins. So I have an acorn squash and I'm gonna try and see what I can do with this. I figure I'll cut off the bottom so that it'll stand straight. So it'll sit like that. This is better turn out. <laughs> oh, it's moving, it's lifting. <gasps> yes. Yes, 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 Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Look at that. Okay, this is perfect. Look, it's basically the same thing. Oh, I don't really want to stick my hands in there. And then, so the mouth is supposed to look like he's puking. So I have to like do a hole. Oh, that's cute. Um, oh, hi, buddy. So now I'm gonna make the guac. Guac is 
pretty easy. I'm just gonna show you how I make it. So I'm gonna take an avocado. Someone told me how to pit these. Basically, you stick a knife in it and you have to turn it. I thought, okay, I was just sticking the knife in and pulling it out, but you have to turn it. Thank you, Tara. <laughs> These are so ripe. How often do you buy avocados and they're like perfect? Yum. And they had hard ones too, like you could pick. Turn. Oh. Beautiful avocados. Tell me those don't look incredible. I need an onion. And then I put some, oh my God, my eyes. Okay, ow, ow. I'm gonna speed this up a bit with my food processor. Potatoes. Some cayenne pepper, some real pepper, salt. All right, we're just gonna get in there. My ears are so done from the haunted house, so I probably won't even notice this. <laughs> oh, it's still not done, okay. Oh yeah, never done. Oh my God, look how yummy. Hi Daisy. I'm just gonna add garlic powder. I'm gonna prep the plate. So basically it's gonna be this guy with the guac coming out of his mouth and uh, chips around it. Actually, I think I need to make his mouth bigger. You can't see it. Now I have to find some crackers because I forgot to buy tortilla chips. That's kind of cute, right? There's a little pumpkin. Comment below what you think we should name him. He's so cute. Okay, so it takes out a little bit bland. I just added a little bit of pepper, and I'm putting a little bit of this. You can also just use cayenne pepper. How spooky. <laughs> oh, I messed up. Definitely read the instructions. I'm gonna write how long to put them in right here, and do that, and don't do what I did, because I would still eat these. Okay. They taste so good. Look at these. Oh. There's some spooky little treats. They're a little burnt on the other side. Um, but honestly, I know they look really burnt. They're, they're edible. These still look delicious to me. Okay, so these guys are done. I'm gonna put this into a cup because it'll be easy to blend in. And then I add some coconut milk. I didn't say how much. Some veggie broth. So my plan for this was to add a spiderweb shape on top of it. This is Dea Caesar dressing. And there's the soup with the spiderweb in it. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, you can probably use sour cream instead of the Dea stuff, because I don't know how that's gonna taste, but I think it'll be good. So there's the soup, there's the sweet potato heads, and the puking pumpkin. The soup's pretty good, like it definitely tastes like coconut though. So if you don't like coconut, get the coconut milk. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really enjoyed making these recipes. And if you like them, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see next. And I hope to see you next time. And if you wanna see some more TikTok recipes, definitely let me know with that like button below so that I know that you wanna see some more. Thanks guys. Happy Halloween.